الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله my dear respected viewers brothers and sisters in Islam we begin our class by praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this opportunity for us and to continue with our lessons and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and hidayah that we are able to practice what we have learned and put it in our daily practices and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with the easiness and make any of this madness as a reason where Allah forgive any of our sins where Allah answer our prayers and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with iman and taqwa and husn khatima and gather us our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yawm al qiyamah ameen ya rab al alameen so insha'Allah ta'ala we will enter into our kitab Tajul Arus written by Al-Imam Ibn Atayla Skandari radiyallahu an and we have come many to the part anywhere he mentioned repentance gains Allah's love so now we are going back and to speak any about At-Tawbah and he mentioned that this is the first station the first any maqam for a seeker of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the person yani, who makes any Allah as his maqsud as his goal and purpose in life that is to attain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the first any station for him yani, to achieve this is none other than making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what follows it is not accepted except by virtue of it Yani when a person commits any ma'asiyah, as what we mentioned, then he will be a barrier, there will be a barrier between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One of the reasons any that our prayers and is not answered by Allah is because any of not repenting any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sins any that we have committed. So before this any we spoke about the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam where the Prophet any mentioned, إِذَا أَذْنَبَ الْعَبْدُ ذَنْبًا نُكِّتَتْ فِي قَلْبِهِ نُكْتَةُ السَّوْدَى That when a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does any a sin, then a black dot will appear on his heart. And if the sin any is accumulated, then darkness any will cover. So this is what Al-Imam Ibn Atta'il Al-Skandari any mentioned, pertaining any to acts and your ma'asiyah, that it is a reason any for darkness, it is a reason any for humiliation, it is a reason any for loss any in dunya and akhirah. So it is important again and again to remind ourselves about returning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and also the importance of muhasabah to reflect any upon our actions, any that we have done, the sins that we have committed, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. When we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and inshallah Allah accept any of our repentance, then all this darkness and it will disappear any from our hearts. And this is any one of the ways how we can purify our souls, how we can purify any our hearts by having any a sincere repentance any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq. So last time any we spoke any about the importance any of daily any muhasaba to look at our shortcomings and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves a person any who busy himself any with himself looking at his shortcomings and asking Allah any for forgiveness and trying any his best any to work any for the better and then any he mentioned the similitude any these similar thing or the parable any of a slave where he does an act of obedience is like of a new pot that when a person of one uh, when he does any an act any of, of, of disobedience it is like a, or that of a new pot each time it is heated it increases and in, in blackness so now any he gave us the example any of a pot a pot any that is made any of iron where you start any to use any the pot any by uh, putting it any on on fire and last time any they use this coals and charcoals any to to burn so what will happen is the more any you use the more any you burn the more any you boil any water any with this pot the darker any it will become so this is any the parable any of a slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who does any acts any of disobedience. So this is any the parable any speaking about. The more any disobedience any that you do, the blacker any your heart any will become, 
just like the more yani you burn a pot the blacker yani it will the blacker yani it will it will become so this is any the parable any that he that he mentioned if but he's mentioned if you hasten any to wash it if you hasten any to wash it the blackness any be wash off it so when every time any you use any that pot and every time any this blackness any appears any on the pot quickly any you wash it then the uh, the tendency any of it any becoming severe any blackness will be decrease by much because any of your efforts any to cleanse it every time any you use every time any use any the pot if you hasten any to wash it the blackness will be wash off it and if you leave it and cook in it time after time you will have consol- consolidated the blackness until it disintegrates and washing it thereafter will be of no use so when when there is no any washing any of the pot after any it is used any many any times so the blackness any will accumulate because every time any you use it the darker any it becomes the more any the black blackness any will the blackness any will appear so this is basically the parable any that he gives the more any you commit any maksia without repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the darker any it becomes so that is why it is always yani incumbent any upon us that the moment any we commit any maksia then we have any to quickly any return any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask any Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness with regret with al-azam as what we mentioned the pillars any of tawbah by promising any Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we will not any return any to the sin that we that we have committed and in this particular case it is like any washing off any something while any it becomes whenever any it becomes it becomes any dirty our heart any is like such that it becomes any dirty and it is uh, filled any with darkness but the moment any make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is just like us any washing washing any the darkness in the way from it so this is any the importance any of returning any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any with tawfiq and inshallah any we try any our best Today, inshallah, before yani, we break any of our fast, any as usual, this is any some of the things any that we can we can practice. Is we put it any into amal, uh, we practice it, inshallah. Yeah. If you can any face any the kibla, for example, and before we break any of our fast, and we repent any to Allah subhanahu wa taala from all the sins any that we have done, the sins any that are committed by our eyes, the sins that are committed any by our ears, and then we. Promise any Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that inshallah we turn into a, a new leaf. That inshallah from today onwards we will try any our best any to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to refrain from all any the prohibitions and all the things any that we have done that we have done in the past. And one of the uh, dhikr any that is encouraged in the, in the month of Ramadan as many of us any are aware is Allahumma inna ka'afoon tuhibbul afwa fa'afu anna yani Allahumma inna ka'afoon o Allah yani you Uh, always yani f- forgiving to uh, hibbul afwa and you love forgiveness yani to give to bless any your servants any forgiveness fa'fu uh, anna and bless us any with with forgiveness and this is any the dua the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught Aisha radiyallahu anha where he asked any the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he, if she comes any to laylatul qadr what is the things any that she should ask any Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam any taught us uh, taught her and taught us the importance any of this particular supplication this particular istighfar and it is in reality any form any of istighfar but basically the the lesson any behind it and is basically Allah is teaching us any the importance of tawbah in reality the dua that we recite any in ramadan allahumma inna ka'afun tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anna is basically any asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness then also any we recite ashhadu an la ilaha illallah we make uh, shahada we recite any our our shahada and then and we make any dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is uh, all any things any within the sunnah in the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any with tawfiq and inshallah then any the author any mention repentance is therefore that which which washes the blackness any of the heart now this is very very important in your jamaah islam in taught us any how are we able any to cleanse any our hearts Now um, earlier, Sheikh Ben Atta Allah Sekandri and he spoke any about the pot. So when we speak any about washing off things that are dirty any in our plates and in our pots, we know any what 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 are the things any that we need to use. We need to use any the sponge. We need to use uh, the uh, detergent. We need to wash away all these uh, 
the 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 dirty uh, remnants any uh, that is on our plates or on our pots. But how about to wash any our heart? Any how about any to cleanse any our hearts? So he said any the first any station in this in this mujahada, yani in this path to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, it is by repentance because any the parable any of repentance any is that it washes any the blackness any of the heart, blackness any result any of the which is the result any of the sins that are committed any by the servant. So that deeds any appear with the fragrance of acceptance over them. In order any for our deeds any to be accepted any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala any look any at our heart. If our heart any, we have sins that we have not any repent, that is one of the reasons that our dua is not answered any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if there are people any uh, uh, complaining, for example, I make dua, I always say make dua to Allah and you know, I didn't see any answering any of my du'a. The first thing any we have to do is we have to do reckoning upon ourselves. Uh, what are the sins any that we have committed? Uh, have we made any tawbah? Repentance any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Or we have not any repentance any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If a person any finding himself any not performing any prayers, not fasting any, for example, and he makes any du'a any to Allah, and then he asks any the question, why Allah any is not answering any my du'a? So easily any we say to this person that it is because of your sin. It is because any of the sins any that you have committed and you have not any repented any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how can you expect Allah any to answer your prayers? So that is why ulama any mentioned that our sins are barrier between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to wash away these sins any in the form any of the darkness any that is uh, prevalent any on our hearts that is any by returning any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance that is tawbat al nasuha. And then this becomes in the reason that Allah any accept our accept any our deeds and accept any our accept any our prayers. And we are hoping any that Allah accept our ibadah, Allah accept our fasting, Allah accept our taraweeh, Allah accept our qiyam. So that is why it is important any for us any to come to this realization. And it is never too late and to come to this realization about the importance any of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the forgiveness that we have or for the sins any that we have that we have committed. So he mentioned, so ask Allah to enable you to constantly repent. So the thing here about repentance, and you have to understand, there must be consi- uh, consistency. It must be any continuous. That is why in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, Inna Allah yuhibbu tawwabin. For verily Allah loves at-tawwabin. Allah did not mention Allah loves at-ta'ibin. There is a difference any between ta'ibun and tawwabun. Ta'ib any is a person any who repents, but tawab is a person any who always always any do tawbah. This is any the sifatul mubalara any we call it. When we have sifatul mubalara any in the Arabic language any it means consistency any always occurring. Just like any the word qata'an qata'a. Qata'a any is to cut one time. Qata'a any is to cut any many times. This is mubalara. So tawab is mubalara any from ta'ib. Ta'ib any is a person any who repent. Maybe he repent any for one time. We say he is a ta'ib. But when when comes any to tawab, this Allah say in Allah you have but tawabin that Allah loves tawabin. Allah did not say a taib. A tawab, yani is a person yani whenever he fell into maksia quickly yani he make tawab to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Whenever he fell into maksia quickly he return to Allah subhanahu wa taala. So he is constantly consistency. Now, so ask any Allah to enable you to constantly yani repent yani pray to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Sheikh yani saying pray to Allah subhanahu wa taala. Allah make you amongst the tawabin. That Allah makes you any among those any that not only any repent any one time and in Ramadan and Alhamdulillah any we repent but after Ramadan, you know we we do the things any that we do until any next any Ramadan. This any not the way. So this must be any constantly. So ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala may Allah bless us any with consistency inshallah any in in tawbah. If you achieve it, then your time will be delightful because it is a gift any from Allah that He allots to whomever He wills of His slaves. So this itself any is a ni'mah any from Allah. That if you always if you always make tauba and you feel the sweetness of returning to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and many a times any you return any to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala every time any you fall any into maqsiyah you return any to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala then he say no that this is a gift any from Allah for you it is a gift any from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala so this is the thing a jamaah insha Allah any we are hoping that insha Allah the benefits any that we get any from the words of Al Imam Ibn Taqi Al Skandari is that we are able any to slowly insha Allah from now on. We try to enliven any this meaning, enliven any this, enliven any this meaning, and it comes any it must come any with efforts and it doesn't come, 
it doesn't come any without any any efforts. The moment any you put in efforts, inshallah, after some time, any it becomes natural. Any it becomes uh, uh, like like how any we say it, it becomes like a uh, something any that is easy because the moment any you do it any every day, then it becomes like a it becomes a, like a culture in you, something any that that is continuous. May Allah any bless us any with with this characteristics any of tawab. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Naam. And this is a tawfiq that Allah gives any to whomever any he, whomever any he wishes. So if Allah makes you amongst the tawabin, then you are in need any to make shukur to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this any blessing any that Allah bless you with. It may so happen that a slave any with crack heels achieve it. Yani he may, he said that uh, there are times that a slave, now this slave any that he meant any is uh, a slave any in like what we mentioned in fiqh al-abd and there is any the master so it may so happen any that a slave 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 here again any it means uh, the slave any in this in this dunya we've cracked any heels any do any why cracked heels any because any of working any a lot so sometimes any a slave allah bless him any with tawbah but not any the master yani imagine imagine there is a master and there is a slave sometimes the slave is better than the master even though the master any is seen as someone honorable in the society. But the master commits sins but doesn't make tawbah to Allah. But the slave any who is miskin, fakir, does not possess any anything, he is making tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah bless him any with tawbah. Now he is better any than the master. Although outwardly people see the master any is better than the, than the slave. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks any at the spiritual state any of a person. It may so happen that a slave with cracked heels achieve it, achieves any tawbah. But not any the master or a woman achieve it, but not the husband. Any the wife always make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa taala, but the husband slack. Husband any does not make tawbah to Allah, so the wife any is better than the husband. So sometimes any a slave can be better than the master, wife any can be better than the husband, husband can be better than the ma- than, than, than the than the wife, master can become can be better any than the slave, one friend any can become better than the other. Then we we can speak any a lot any all these things, but the thing is, he's giving us any a measurement. How can you be loved any by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is when you yourself any practice any this repentance any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you have any repentance any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is a culture any in you, then you are better any than someone who does not any repent any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if you are miskin, even any people look down on you in reality, in real life. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala honor you because any of your attachment any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us any amongst any the tawabin. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Or a young man and he achieve it. A young man achieve it but not his elder. So sometimes any a young man is better than an old man. And a young man and he attains the characteristics any of tawbah. Always any making tawbah any to Allah. He is better any than an old person who does not any make tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is how any we judge any people. This is how any we see. The reality. That's why Allah said in the Quran, "Inna akramakum inna Allahi atqaakum." Any the, the most honourable of you towards any Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the one any who possess any the most any God consciousness any to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. The one any who always any carry out the commandments any of Allah, asking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for forgiveness when he fell any into the prohibitions. Therefore, if you achieve it, then Allah truly loves you. Yani, if you achieve any these characteristics any of making the tawbah constantly. So the thing here I would like to emphasize here, Jama'ah, making tawbah is about consistency. And we are not speaking about making tawbah any one time, two time in our life, but it is like a characteristics any within us. This is what he's speaking about. Then Allah truly and He loves you. For Allah said, "Inna Allaha yuhibbu tawabin wa yuhibbu mutatahirin." This is any the Quran. Allah verily Allah loves any the one and who always and make repentance, and the ones and who purify themselves. Nam who purify any themselves, zahiran and batinan. From the zahir, that is the apparent form any of field, and also the hidden form of field any that is, as what any we mentioned, diseases any of the heart, that we purify any ourselves any from from, from sins, and from the darkness and the, the, the diseases any by returning any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah loves any those any who are pure any from, from committing any sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any with tawfiq, Amin, Ya Rabbal Alamin. 
And then and he mentioned only someone who who knows the true precious value of something will wish any for it. This is any a principle any in life. Only if you know the precious value any of a particular thing, then only you you will seek for it. Just like any today any for example uh, people any know about the value of money, so they are motivated any to find to seek to find any ways any to attain. To attain any wealth, to attain any money, because why? Because any they understand any the value any of the, they understand any the value any of the, of the money. So he gave an example. If you were to quickly scatter rubies among bees, yani amongst any animals, any for example, and you throw to them diamonds. Uh, for example, any you have this, uh, goats any or yani basically animals, and you give them diamonds and rubies, precious any rubies. Do you think any the the animals any will turn to it or wanting wanting it? Certainly any they do not want, correct or not? Because any they do not know the value, they do not know any the value any of the diamond, they do not know the value any of the rubies. They will know any pay no attention because Bali would have been more preferable to them. Yani, for example, you put a a, a bowl any of diamonds, and you put any a bowl any of Bali. Bali is the the thing any that these animals, this uh, livestock and usually eat. Which any which one of the two do you think any the animals any will choose? Certainly any will choose. Certainly any they will choose any Bali because they know to them about the the value any of the Bali that it will make them full, but they do not know about the value any of the gubis. But human beings, human beings any they understand any the value any of, they understand the value any of the gubis. So basically, what any is saying is going back any to the principle any earlier that you are inclined any to something any that you know about the value. That if you know about the the importance any of uh, love any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, then certainly any you will seek any the love any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. But if you do not know about the importance any of this love, then you will not any seek the love any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because basically we will put in efforts towards any the thing any that we know that it will have value, that it gives any benefit any to benefit any to us. So this is any example any he gave any about the animals and about any the rubies. So he asked, look therefore at which of the following two groups any you belong to, which any of the following any two groups that you that you belong to. If you repent, you are from amongst any those any beloved any by Allah, but if you don't, then you are amongst the transgressors. Naam. So of certainly any we want any to become. Among any the groups any that always any repent any to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. When we understood about the importance any of the love any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, because any when Allah loves you, what happens any when Allah loves you, then what you call it everything any will be blessed any for you. The creations any will also any love you, and Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will answer any our prayers and Allah any will make us enter Jannah and Allah any will bless us with mercy and Allah will protect us any from all forms any of difficulties. If Allah love us, masha Allah, yani. If Allah any love us, then the 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 asbab any will work any for us. As what any Sheikh uh, Imam Raslan the Mishki is what we covered any in our Gisala Tawhid. He said that uh, when you love any Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, everything any will work any for you. Everything any will will work any for you. Any because Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is the one any who have power over the asbab. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will bless you any with His blessing and His mercy. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala bless us any with taufiq. But if a person any feels that that does not know about the importance any of love, attaining any love any from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, then he does he will be what you call it amongst any be the the group any of the transgressors. He doesn't feel about the importance any of repentance. He might be committing any maasiyah after maasiyah after maasiyah. And he doesn't any feel about the importance of returning any to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, the importance any of attaining any the love any of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So by that any this particular person any becomes any away any from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and live any his life any in transgression, and that is a form any of life any that is filled any with darkness, that is filled with humiliation, that is filled any with loss any in dunya and akhirah. And na'uz bilam in zalik any it is feared that the person na'uz bilam in zalik die in insu al khatima and punished any by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala on the qiyamah. These are the things any that. We pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that Allah protect us. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. This is uh, <coughs> verse in the Quran. 
Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala mention those any who does not any repent faman lam yatub fa ulaika minal uh, minal fasiqin yani those any who does not any repent then he is from any di from any the transgressors so not any repenting it any to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is any one of the ways now bila people fall any into trans any question me Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any purity any of our hearts purity any of our souls and bless us any with Husnul Khatima Amin Ya Rabbal Alamin Whoever any repents and he has won And whenever a person any repents and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And he has He has won And meaning he is The doors and he will open any for him That he will attain any the rewards any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That if he pass away and at that moment And his sins and he will be forgiven any by By Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And Yawmul Qiyamah and he will, he will receive Success because any the reality any of success is success in akhirah and not not this dunya success in akhirah those any who return any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa man zuhziha anin nar wa udkhil al jannah faqad faz this Allah said in the Quran those any who uh, uh, made uh, away any from the hellfire wa udkhil al jannah and made any to enter jannah faqad faz for verily he has attained any success from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu La tulhikum amwalukum Wala awladukum An dhikrillah Wa may yaf'al thalika Fa'ulaika humul Khasirun Yani the, the otherwise That if a person Does not any make tawbah To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And indulge in himself In ma'siyah After ma'siyah After ma'siyah This any will make him Fa'ulaika humul khasirun Yani they are amongst Any the people Any who are The people Any who are at, at loss do not any despair and ask how often do I repent yet violate my repentance by acts of obedience for a sick person hopes for life as long as the soul remains alive. MashaAllah, this is, this is any, a very uh, beautiful any, statement any, by, by any, the author. And the author, any, and, and this is in reality, a lot of people any, ask in this question, a lot of people any, has this, uh, what you call it, a misunderstanding. Where people any often ask any how can I repent into Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but I'm still any committing any maqsia. The thing is any that Islam any taught us do not be despair from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not be despair from the mercy any of Allah. Do not look at yourself. Always any look any at the treasures any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the forgiveness any of Allah. Focus any on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah for repentance, ask Allah for tawbah. Ask Allah any to give you to give all of us inshallah the ability to obey him, the ability to refrain. Do not any be despair by re- removing any ourselves any away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is what any shaitan wants. Shaitan any wants you to make to be despair from the mercy any of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to always remind any ourselves any about his importance. Even though any we find ourselves any again and again any falling into maqsia, again and again any we are in need any to return any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody any is perfect and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves any those any who always any makes tawbah. And every time we make tawbah with, with, with sincerity, Allah yani, will forgive any all of your sins. Allah will forgive any all of your sins. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned, Kullu Bani Adam khatta'un. All of the children of Adam alayhi salam, they are committing sins. Wa khayyul khatta'in, at-tawabun. And the best any of them, any adults, any whom when they commit any this ma'asiyah, they return any to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah yani, bless us any with istiqamah yani, in tawbah. Inshallah, yani, because any of time, uh, we will stop here. And inshallah, there are certain other things in I would like any to speak any about this, but we will postpone any to our next class tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us any with afiyah and salama and bless us in goodness and akhir, in dunya and akhirah. Amin. Ya Rabbal Alamin. And makes us amongst any the tawabin. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.